They get to travel more than that. They get to tell the story of the biggest game of all, the Super Bowl. Every two years we get this chance to go through this celebration. That's you? What are you, drunk man? Go to bed. Good night. Hey, it's me, Dylan. I hope you guys enjoyed that short little sequence. I had a blast making it with my friends. And let's hop into Final Cut. I'll show you what Motion VFX plugins I used to make it pop. We put this together in a couple hours without a storyboard or anything, so we really needed to step it up when it came to lighting and then really finesse the editing in post. Luckily, M Film Look, M Music Video, and M Title Cinematic helped us to do that. Let's deconstruct this shot in post. I use three plugins here, the most obvious being a title from M Title Cinematic. I went with preset number eight because it felt mysterious and a little spooky, but there are a lot of other options I could have chosen. M Title Cinematic and M Title Cinematic 2 are probably my favorite title packs to use for cinematic sequences. They're incredibly easy to adjust. You can just use the on-screen controls to adjust the title position as well as the size. And if you head into your inspector window, you can make quick adjustments to the animation in and out speeds, the font, etc. The second plugin I used was M Music Video, and this is probably a shock to most considering this is not a music video. But honestly, I find myself using this plugin a lot for different types of videos. There is so much good stuff in this pack. I used a slight zoom in title, which really saves me time because I don't have to keyframe anything. It's just a drag and drop title. So for example, with this door shot, I just drag zoom in over the shot, change the zoom strength in the inspector window. So we'll zoom in maybe about 7%. And that's it. No keyframing involved. I also use the anamorphic lens preset over most of the project, and this preset is magic. I love this. If I turn off the title, you see what it does. Not only does it add the letterbox effect, but it stretches and distorts our shot in a similar way that anamorphic lenses do. And it also adds that swirly bokeh effect around the edges that you'll see often with anamorphic lenses. So let me delete this and I'll show you how I customized it. Just drag the anamorphic lens preset over your clip, adjust for the duration of the clip, and head into your inspector window. For this shot, I want to turn off this flare, so press this here. But keep in mind, if you do want to use this, you have so many customizable options. The only other thing I did was adjust the feather of the swirly bokeh effect. Increasing the feather makes the effect more gradual. You'll see that if I decrease the feather, it's now covering his face, and we don't want that. So we'll add some feather back in so it eases in more. The last plugin I used, and this was applied to every shot, was M Film Look, which is pretty much a one stop shop to creating a cinematic looking image. Let's select all these presets and mute them by pressing V. Now we can see what we're doing a little better. I made some small tweaks to this shot, which I was able to do pretty quickly with M Film Look. I raised my highlights a tad, I enabled my basic adjustments, and swung my color temperature to the left for a little bit of a cooler look. I went down to my LUTs and found a Motion VFX LUT in the pack called Film. And I decreased the intensity a tad. 
I added a bit of chromatic aberration to my edges by toggling this on. And then I quickly added some film grain. I adjusted the intensity so it wasn't too much and I took out all the color in the grain. I could have added the letterbox effect here, but the anamorphic preset in M Music Video already covered that base for us. As we progress down the timeline, you'll notice that I use the zoom in and zoom out presets from M Music Video a lot. A quick drag and drop preset to zoom in and out without keyframes really comes in handy. The last preset I used from M Music Video I used only once, and I probably would have used it more had we not screwed on Black Promise filters to our lenses, but it is called Light Diffuse. This drag and drop preset can be found in your titles folder in M Music Video, and it gives you some halation around the brightest sources in your image, which is something you can achieve once again by using mist filters on your lenses. I just dragged and dropped this preset over my footage and it looked great, but you have a lot of options to adjust the brightness, the color of the halation, etc. And that's about it. Three easy to use plugins to help get that cinematic look in a short time. I think I edited this whole thing in a few hours and I was able to do it quickly, partly because of the ease of use of these plugins. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, do me a huge solid and press the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Subscribing to this channel is one way to get notified about all of our plugins and new releases. Once again, my name is Dylan and I will see you guys in the next one.